for me, it's Rand. Hope you're doing well. Uh, me and my husband just got back in from, you know, a little shopping, went out to eat, try to relax. You guys know he's on vacation, and I'm off this weekend, which is going to be awesome, because I don't have to worry about getting up early in the morning or whatever, so. Anyway, um, this is a little mini collective haul from Target, Walgreens, and Dollar Tree, so. I only got one thing at Target, so let's go ahead and get started. I actually went in there to look to see inside the high definition powder to see if it would be worth purchasing for six bucks and I decided against it. Um, so I know several, a couple of you want me to do a review on it. I don't know. I still may get it eventually, but I'm going to wait. In the meantime, I picked up the angled foundation brush, which I had never seen before. And I know I've got several foundation brushes that I'm totally happy with, but I love their studio line brushes. I did pick up their Kabuki brush that they have, but I I did the test where you hold it on one end and you pull out the hairs, and I kept pulling out uh, those uh, uh, synthetic hairs from it, so I, I put it back. And for six bucks, it was not worth it. But anyway, uh, I'll, from what I've seen of this brush, I think I'm gonna like it. It comes with the you know brush guard, and of course it's angled. I've never seen this one before. I will post pictures of my purchases on, that I made on my Facebook, Instagram, and of course Twitter. And I was reading the back of it and it said this is going to be used for wet or dry products. Um, and it says create a flawless color. The angled shape allows you to apply product with precision, precision in hard to reach uh, places. And uh, the brush applies a uh, foundation and other liquid products evenly across the face and within the creases of your features. So um, I'm really excited about trying this. I'm actually going to try this out tomorrow. So anyway, and I did do the same test with this brush, and I got nothing out of it. So I figured it was going to be a good brush to use. Uh, I went into Walgreens and Perth looking for a couple of things, one of which was the Maybelline Color Tattoo. Um, and too cool to replace my next Gemma pencil milk. Of course, I went by Ulta and they said that they won't be replenishing anything till Sunday, which is when they start their big deal. And we're supposed to be going to Scar Scarby Fair for short, but I may run by there because I really need that. Um, I, I swatched this on my hand and I'm not really sure if it's going to do what I need it to do, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a whirl tomorrow. So I picked that up. That was like $6.99. And this week, they have a, a sale going on with Maybelline, buy one, get one half off. So, I really couldn't think of anything to get. And I saw this powder that I had not tried. It's the Shine Free Matte Finish Powder. It comes in this package. And the compact looks like this. It's blue. And this is the second shade they had. The first shade was like almost a white. And I've been really careful about not purchasing those. And this is in a soft cameo. And it, I was feeling around on it. It looks like it's going to be a really pretty soft powder. But, like I said, I'm going to probably put this in my backup drawer for when I get low. I can just use it. You can't really tell there's any color on there. I may have to go a little bit darker, though. So, anyway. But I'm excited to try this. So this was like $6.49. I got it for half off of that price. Now, I went in there to look for this glitter. I've been waiting for them to restock it, but when I got home, I found out that it's actually in a dupe, the exact same color of what I already have. So I will be taking this back. Um, and this is the pinky glitter from Simple Colors. It looks just like that. And if you're looking for this nail polish, go to CVS and pick up the spool nail polish. This is, I got a confection make. I've worn it several times. It's the exact same one. Exact same one. Um, I'll post uh, pictures of these two on my Facebook page let you, you know, look at them. So I got that. I picked up this one to, in order to get the discount, you have to purchase, you know, two of them. And I got this for, for Miss Veronica because I know she would totally wear this. This is Summer Peach. And this is, this, my phone will not, Video-wise, won't bring the true color up, but it is a bright neon orange color. So, I'll show you the swatch that I do have. It's going to be pointless, but there it is. 
when you see this later on my Facebook page, you're going to go, wow, that is bright. So that is so bright. I'm actually going to send this to her. Um, I mean, you know, I, I think she'll get a lot of use out of it. Um, this next one, I've been looking for one similar to this, and I'm glad I bought it. It's called Call You Later. It's a glitter green. And I'm kind of see it a little bit right there. And I, I just really like it a lot. So um, there's the swatch for that. Really cool. Even cooler if you can see that. <laughs> and the last one was something I originally said I was going to purchase. Uh, I saw Veronica had this on. And my friend Lorianne with Beauty Makeup and More, she totally did an awesome job. She did a French manicure where she used this for the top of her nails. This is uh, the Tokyo Pearl. And she put gems on it. It looks really gorgeous. So, anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Um, not really much or nothing uh, as far as Walgreens. I almost forgot the Dollar Tree all. It's been a long day. Okay, we ain't gone in Dollar Tree because once every two weeks we go in there and get my husband his sunflower seeds. And, you know, I have to go down the makeup aisle, whatever. And they had some nail art things. And so, I know me and Veronica, we uh, do swaps and stuff like that. So, Whatever I got, I got her a package of, and I know she's going to totally like this. Uh, these are from Donna Michelle. They had these little mini bottles of, you know, nail art things. This is kind of, they look like stones. It's kind of hard to tell. But they, Like I said, they look like uh, stones. That's what they look like to me, anyway. And in each package, you get eight of whatever you, you know they have. So I'm really excited to try this. Like I said, I got me one and I got her one. So pretty cool. And then I got these, and I was really excited about these. These are like the little uh, pearl things that you know people use on their nail art. So I got a package, two packages of these. I have never realized my lighting sucks in this room. <laughs> It does. Anyway, I guess I'll post pictures. And I may even start trying to do my videos in another location on top of that. I still have my stick light that I can actually kind of move. But anyway, I got me and her a package of those. And then I got me and her, I call them the bling bling gem, uh, gems. The really sparkly one. So, yep. And then the last package of anything that I got was they're basically glitters, but they're really, really pretty colors. So, um, I get these for her because I know her Dollar Tree usually don't have the good stuff like mine does, and she'll send me stuff to her other stores down there where she lives at and then how so Veronica, I hope you like these. Um okay, now that's it. Um go down and watch the movie. Uh we read Fast Five, the Fast and Furious. This is the last one I have not seen and I'm already planning on buying it on D V D. Gotta watch it. And then he's gonna watch Planet of the Eight sometime tomorrow. And something borrowed, I think that's the Kate Hudson movie. And then he picked out a couple other movies, you know. Anyway. Uh, hope you guys have a good night. Um, I'm also going to get ready for Saturday morning makeup chit chat. Um, I'll, I'll let you guys know how, what I feel about this color tattoo. Um, I tried some before they were really good. I just uh, really wish I could quit doing that. But anyway, I'll let you guys know how this works. So or whatever. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great night. Bye.